Hey guys, Ash here from CurseForward.com and in this video I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to root the Asus Google Nexus 7. So guys, the first thing you need to do here is go to the download section in the description and download the Nexus 7 toolkit. Clicking on the link there will take you to this page. And uh, just go ahead and download the latest version of the Google Nexus 7 toolkit. And once you download it, go ahead and install it on your computer and make sure that you use the default folder that it suggests because uh, selecting a certain few, I mean changing the path for the installation sometimes creates issues with rooting so don't, worry. So don't change it, just go ahead and install it in the uh, default location that will be C drive, uh, Nexus 7 toolkit, so just install it there. And once you've done that, don't connect your uh, Nexus 7 just yet, just open up Nexus 7 toolkit. So uh, when you open this up, it would seem to freeze for a bit. Don't worry, uh, it will load up. It just takes time. So just wait, wait for it. Just be patient for a little bit. Okay, when it asks you to check for an update, just hit no. That is click on, I mean hit N or type in no. Let's just wait for it for a little, little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Once it uh, loads up, the first thing you do here is hit one and enter, and select your operating system, Windows XP and Vista. And you need to hit one, and for Windows Seven, like myself, hit two, enter, and select install drivers to your PC. Guys, just make sure that you don't have your Nexus 7 connected while you do this. So, I'm installing drivers now. Yeah, when it says, it will say an error occurred, but don't worry about it. That's normal. Just read the lines, uh, lines after that. So, the drivers have been installed. So, just be patient for a bit. Alright guys, now on the Nexus 7. Uh, just go into settings and go into developer options that's developer options and now make sure that USB debugging is selected and now go ahead and connect your Nexus 7 to the PC uh, via USB cable so just connect it and uh, press any key to return to main menu And now your Nexus 7 will be detected in ADV mode and your device ID will pop up or serial num serial rather. So there it is. So the drivers have been installed successfully. Alright guys, in order to root the Nexus 7, what we need to do is we need to unlock the bootloader first. And every time you unlock the bootloader, your, the device is going to wipe everything. So go ahead, take a backup of whatever you want and proceed so right now we're gonna unlock the bootloader and we need to hit 3 and enter and hit 1 to unlock bootloader so uh, is your device in fast boot mode already we are not currently in fast boot mode so we're just gonna go ahead and type in no or n so what the toolkit is gonna do is it's gonna automatically reboot us into fast boot mode so we just need to wait so there we go we are in fast boot now alright so we get this prompt here asking you whether you wanna unlock your bootloader we wanna root the, root the device so yes we wanna unlock it so go ahead hit the power button So right now, if you can see, the state is over here, locked state, the red one at the end, it's changed from locked to unlocked. Alright, so we've successfully unlocked the bootloader for the Nexus 7 right now. So I'm going to put the device down. So guys, now what we do uh, next is, we're going to root the device, so hit 4 and hit enter. And we're going to root, uh, root and install BusyBox. So uh, select 
choice 2 and hit enter again. Right now it asks you if your phone is in fast boot mode. We already are in fast boot mode so I'm just gonna select or type in Y. See the device is rebooting. Alright guys, we're up. I'm sorry, just knocked the tripod. Alright, we're up, so I'm just gonna quickly run through uh, setup here. Just give me a quick minute. No for the moment, not now. Next, next, yes, yes, complete. Okay, so uh, just pull down the notification bar, go into settings, developer options, turn this on. Okay, and USB debugging. Okay and just leave the tablet as it is so guys at this point if it still continues saying waiting for USB debugging to be enabled instead of continuing just unplug the USB cable and re-plug re it back in and uh, the process should continue so now if, uh, the Nexus 7 is rebooting back into fast boot mode. So we are in fast boot mode. Booting into Android with an insecure boot, boot image. Alright, we're up. Continuing in eight seconds. So guys, while this is happening, uh, if you're watching this video in full screen, just go ahead and uh, get it back to windowed mode. And uh, you see a little thumbs up button below, go ahead, click it. And on top, you will find a subscribe button. That's good, that's good, go ahead, click that as well. All right, now we can go back to full screen. Thanks a lot, guys. All right, back up. So quickly going in you can see that super user has been added now you see it super user has been added So guys, for those of you who, who are just looking for root on your devices, you're done, you've got root access, you can install apps like Titanium Backup, that's pretty much it. If you guys want to go ahead and flash a custom recovery, then just stay on, uh, that's what we're going to do next. So uh, guys, there is an issue wherein even if you flash a custom recovery, sometimes it reverts back to stock, 
So to avoid that, what we need to do first is we need to uh, rename the recovery files. All right. So for that, we're going to go ahead and hit the option five and hit enter. So again, it's going to ask you, is your phone in fast boot mode? It is not currently. So we're going to select N and the phone will, phone is all going to, I mean, the phone as in the Nexus 7 is automatically going to uh, reboot back into fast boot mode. All right, the Nexus 7 is now in fast boot mode. And now if the Nexus 7 reboots again. We are up. So waiting for ADB mode. It's done. And now we are rebooting back to fast boot and we are in fast boot mode. Alright, going back to the main menu. So there's one last thing we need to do here guys that is flash a custom recovery. And uh, we are not going to be using clockwork mod here because clockwork mod has some issues as in you need to connect the USB cable if you need to boot into uh, clockwork mod recovery. So. Uh, Let's just hit 6 here and uh, use TWRP touch recovery. So I'm gonna hit make the choices too and hit enter. And it asks you if your phone is in fast boot mode. Uh, the Nexus 7 just rebooted back into fast boot mode. So we can go ahead and hit Y over here. So waiting for TWRP touch recovery to be flashed. Waiting for device. So guys, uh, if you get stuck on waiting for device for too long and you know that you're on the correct mode, that is uh, fast boot mode right now, just unplug the cable once and uh, re-plug it back in. And there you go. completed and it's returning to main menu so just to confirm that we have the uh, recovery flashed here use the volume keys take it to recovery mode and hit the power button And there we have it, TWRP Touch uh, Recovery. So I'm just going to go ahead and reboot the system. So that's pretty much it, guys, when it comes to rooting the uh, Nexus 7. Uh, if you guys run into any issues or if you need any help, you can always hit us up at cuspower.com slash forums. And before you go, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons, please. So uh, that's pretty much it guys and if you guys do want to help me out use my links to Amazon or Flipkart from the description. Uh, if you're in India use the Flipkart because uh, Amazon doesn't deliver to India so uh, every time you guys place an order I tend to make a few cents to a few bucks depending on the value of your order. So that is if you guys do want to help me out. So uh, for the full written instructions head on over to uh, cursepower.com again the link is in the description. Uh, and uh, if you guys want to stay updated with my latest updates uh, or if you have any, any requests, you want me to make any certain videos, let me, know, uh, let me know, hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus. Again, all contact details in the description. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Till then, stay subscribed and you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.